hey guys welcome to the channel and thank you for watching we're still waiting for pochettino to be announced please announce pochettino people are tired we don't know what to do only two games remaining until the end of the season you have to confirm him right now so he can start walking i don't know if you know anything about pochettino you can tell us because probably i'll be sleeping by the time you watch this video and he could be already announced i don't know but yeah man let, let's start a new chapter because nothing is working for chelsea at the moment okay let's do it all right people so while we are waiting for pochettino to be announced in the next coming days or hours or it's already announced we're gonna just go and talk about some uh, random topics in the chelsea community congratulations to Casade. remember him one of us we bought him last summer for 15 million plus 5 million add-ons from inter and he'd been doing very good he was doing great with the academy and then he moved to uh, Reading and he scored really, really uh, important goals over there. He's a goal-scoring uh, midfielder. I don't want to be copyrighted here, but if you look at the, the goals that he scored, it just golassos from nowhere. Bam! Top bin, top corner. So before we... We go and splash another 100 million on a, a midfielder. Probably you have to give a chance to uh, Pochettino actually to make his decision when it comes to the midfielders because it looks like we have so many of them. But I don't know what's going to happen. So today I was even watching the, the, the game between Italy and Brazil. And in the first half, 40 five minutes he scored a couple goals with one assist and guess who was in the other side andrew santos another chelsea boy that is coming in summer so we have options from the midfield names being thrown out there uh, ugarte lavia Kone, mcallister rice mr bean donald trump Everybody is going to be linked with Chelsea. By the end of the day, you have just to assess what you got. Probably you already have another N'Golo Kante already in the team or in the loan army somewhere. Or you could twist the things a little bit and put Chaloba in the midfield or Rhys James, just like a Klopp is doing now. You never know. So I don't know if a Poch is going to do that. And don't don't sleep on Eaton Ampadu, right? Whatever the theory is going to be, keep an open mind because this guy is a proper, proper leader. Like we are talking about the, you know, the lack of leaders, lack of energy, the lack of, lack of fighter, warriors in the midfield. And Ethan Ampadu, be careful. He might be just the guy. Give him a chance and let's see what's going to happen. So, yeah, I don't know how many, how many midfielders are we... Are we gonna need next season okay people are gonna tell you dm dm but hey we have people who can do the job in that dm position let me know what you think take the money away take the mindset away because it's always when somebody costs money let's go let's go it will guard it now oh it's it's such and such not declan rice because we know the reasons He's English and from the academy, but uh, everybody else is just spend money, go, go. Kaiseido, spend money, such and such, McAllister. How many of them are we going to have? We have to start coaching, training, instead of buying all the time. All right, people. So this one is about Vlahovic. The news came on Sunday morning to tell us that Chelsea already submitted 80 million. That was like a Julien Lorrain. Um, I don't really believe on many things that he says. <laughs> but 
but uh it was uh it was going around so we have to talk about it and we have to talk also about what Fabrizio Romano said after the news from ESPN so it was trending 80 million on Vlahovic let me know in the comment section down below if Chelsea really need somebody like Vlahovic I'm skeptic I can't even speak skeptical I'm skeptical about this one. I'm not going to edit this part because I think it's going to be funny. People, are, you can't even pronounce <laughs> skeptical. All right. So I'm not going to cut that part because I think it's going to make people people laugh. But anyways, all the jokes aside, uh, Mr. Dusan Vlahovic to Chelsea Football Club. Do you think he's going to solve the Chelsea uh, scoring issues? But many people, uh, Mr. Twitter UK here said that no, could be similar to Mitrovic, strong, good in jewel. Um, we want, uh, he want a Champions League uh, games. I don't know. Many people here said no, no, no. I think many people are skeptical just like me. Yeah, I got it. Because we spent a lot of money lately on strikers and never worked out for Chelsea Football Club. So why not develop from the ranks or go for low-key strikers and develop them instead of going for big money? I don't know. On this one, hmm, I'm not too sure. He was good when he was at uh, Fiorentina or something like that. But when he joined Juve different environment different kind of pressure um and then just just it's not happening for him and 80 million for me is a lot of money that is the money that we can pay and get Tammy Abram this is you uh, Tammy Abram is 80 million euros which could be around let's say 70 million pounds you got Tammy Abram but nobody want to Tammy Abraham because he's from the academy and he's English and he only scored 16 goals. He's supposed to score like 100 goals. Be better than Haaland. So I don't know about this one. I'm going to just keep an open mind. If it's happened, it's happened. We're going to support him. But I don't really have a good feeling about number nines at Chelsea Football Club. The curse continues. <laughs> so... Yeah, according to many news, he's the number one target. But Fabrizio Romano came and say no, it's not that way. Uh, you know, Chelsea are considering options, but it doesn't mean that they're going to buy him. Fair enough, fair enough. So let's wait and see what's going to happen, my friends.